El director artístico y cofundador del Festival Internacional de Jazz de Montreal, André Menard, Reconoció que ser uno de los más importantes festivales de jazz en el mundo es un logro, pero al mismo tiempo un gran desafío. When you're up to the 38 edition, obviously uh, the main challenge for us is not logistics because this I think we have pretty well in hand, but it's always to renew our content and keep being relevant. You know, I have a festival that is uh, well situated in its era and whatever happens with music, you know, we try and take that into account when we do the program. So uh, obviously this festival is very, very much unlike the first one 30 years ago, obviously because the evolution of, uh, of music and the way that music is now being dispersed all over the world. Uh, it's very interesting, the field is much larger, but at the same time it's pretty challenging because you try and integrate as many parts of this new, brand new tree of music that jazz can be, you know, with all its foliage and different colors and uh, size. and. Uh, So for us, that's, that's the main thing now. We, we try and maintain uh, integrity in our programming, but also renew the genre itself. And it's quite challenging because the tastes of the public are so eclectic now, you know, that when you try and satisfy everyone, sometimes you satisfy no one. In our case, I think we succeed pretty well at keeping people happy and music fans uh, Elated by the whole uh, festival. Menak señaló que la inclusión de un mayor número de artistas latinos es una asignatura pendiente. I think we we have to look more into into this in in the future because it's it's important for us. Uh, as opposed to jazz festivals in America, will program mostly American artists because they think that jazz still belongs to America. We don't think like that. So <laughs> so as many countries as we can as we can have invited to the festival. Yesterday we had somebody playing from uh, Korea, Yusuna, and Japan, and then uh, Africa. And, uh, so they come from all over the world. Convencido de que cada edición tiene algo que la hace especial, el director comentó que este año el festival se sumó a los festejos de Canadá con una programación especial. Uh, well, this year, because of the 375th anniversary of the city, we, had, we, we were commissioned to do a few events, special events, and also it's the 150th anniversary of Canada's Confederation. So it's just a coincidence that both anniversary take place in the same year. So obviously it is it is special, but I can I can also envision that in two years when we have our 40th uh, edition of the festival that will be special too. So there's always a special reason to do special things, and we try and not miss out on anyone. Con información de Carmen Varela e imágenes de Ana Karen Alvarado, enviadas. Notimex.